Hello guys and welcome to new UDK tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make level streaming. And yeah, let's begin. First of all you need to create two or three or five or six or seven maps and save them. I will create terrains. So go to landscape mode, type in the size 127, 127, create landscape. Now go to file, save as and then save it. I will save it under, let's say, test 1. Save. Now to de delete the terrain, go to the editor, 127, 127, create landscape. Now go to file, save as and save the second map. So test 2. Save. Yes. Okay, now go to new map, mid the lightning and yeah, delete everything and go to view, browser windows, Act to classes. Then go to levels, level, add existing level, and then add your levels. I will add my two levels, the, the test one and test two. Open. Now you have to choose Kismet, stream method, Kismet. Okay, okay. So now I move the first terrain a little bit away, like this here. And yeah. Okay, in here. You can choose either that the map is visible or invisible. So when I put this out, it goes away. Or this here, the other part goes away. You can also make it to current, make it current, then you can add objects to this part of the level. So when I make the test one to current level, I can add objects here. But I won't do this now. When you want to edit your landscape, you have to click on to this landscape mode. And then you can choose your level up here. So landscape 0 or landscape 1. I will put something onto landscape 0, like this here. And then go to landscape 1 and put this here in. Okay. Now you have to open Kismet. Right click onto your map. Add actor, add trigger. Now scale it up. Go to Kismet, right, right click, new event using trigger 0, touch. Right click, new object where using trigger. So we add our trigger to Kismet. Now connect the instigator with a trigger, make a right click, new action, level, stream levels. Now we have to go to sequence actor multi level streaming. Then under level, you have to click under the plus and type in your level name. So I type in test1. So that is because when you spawn at untitled 4 sequence, this here, so the basic sequence, it will load up the test1. So with this trigger here, we load up the test1 map. Okay, now we should have such a green thing here. Now go to connect the touched with load and try it out. We build the pass. Okay, now right click onto the trigger and play from here. Now you see when I move a little bit, the map is here. Okay, now go to Kismet and choose the test one sequence. Now go to your map, right click, add actor, add trigger. Scale it up, go to Kismet, right click, new event using trigger one, touch, Right click new object where using trigger 1 and connect it with instigator. Now make everything like before. So right click new action, level, stream levels and then here at level name, whoop, wrong thing here, let's delete this. Right click new action, level, stream levels. Now here at levels you have to click on the plus and type in test 2. So when we move to this trigger it loads up test 2. So when, when we use the trigger that is on test 1, it will load up test 2. So we have to type in test 2. Now connect the touched with the load. Okay, try it out. Spawn here, play from here. Now with trigger 1, the first map spawns, so test 1. Now when we touch trigger 2, the second map spawns, so test 2. Okay, now go to Kismet, 
ها تو قسمت and then go to test to sequence now make a right click add actor add trigger make it bigger now right click new event using trigger 2 right click new object where using trigger right click new action level stream levels and then here at levels the level name you have to type in test 1 so when we touch this trigger we want that it unload the test 1 map so when we touch this trigger it unloads test 1 so connect the touched with unload and try it out so right click okay when we touch trigger 1 it loads up the first map when we go to trigger 2 it loads up the second map and now when we go to trigger 3 it unloads the first map like here right remember this trigger and here it has unloaded the first map and now we want to load this first map another time so go to kismet add actor add trigger and make it bigger so yeah that rhymes okay now at test tool sequence we make a right click and do everything like before touch new object trace and trigger three instigator right click new action level stream levels and then here at levels on to plus and the level name you have to type in test one so now it loads up test the test one level when we touch this trigger. So touch the with load and try it out. Right click play from here. Okay, when we touch trigger one, it loads up test one map. When we touch trigger two, it loads up test two map. And when we touch trigger three, it load it unloads the first map. So let's let's touch trigger three and it unloads. Now we touch trigger 4 and now it should load up the map. And here it is. It's loaded up the map. You can also do it that when you touch another trigger somewhere here it unloads this map and so on. This could this can be very very annoying to make this but it will help to make very big ma maps without lags. So and the big problem is that, wait let's show it, when you do level streaming you see no map before so you have to hide it that the player don't see this here so for example you can put some trees or rocks in front of the player so that he can't see it and yeah that's it now you know how to do level streaming and until next time